What is up guys, my name is Krautmouse, back with another episode of my Road to Commander. And yes, uh, I've just been kicked into a game halfway through, so it seems. So how are we doing? We are uh, just started round two of two, so we'll, we'll get involved. And um, yeah, we'll we'll try and get involved, we'll get see how we're doing. We are actually really close, so if I play the objective, this is a feasible win. Not if I'm playing like this though. <laughs> Alright, we will figure this out because I don't want to get spawn trapped here. So what I might do, I might do a cheeky little B, B flag run. No, what, well, fuck that, I'm going right away around for C. So yeah, I've got some uh, questions to answer. Well, to be fair, I've got one question to answer and uh, I'll try and draw it out as long as possible. New channel and all that thing. Um, well, that sucked a whole load of testicles. Um, yes, because new channel and stuff, I guess uh, I didn't really get much uh, questionage and stuff, or as, m as much as I was expecting, I should say. So, be sure to leave some questions and I will answer them. I don't care what it is, I'll answer whatever the fuck you like. I'm using a different setup as well, by the way. I'm trying out the vector, which, do you know what? To be fair, I think my... I think... Ugh, tried my best. <laughs> Alright, I got a UAV though, so... Any UAV assists will help. I need to get on C. I need to clear this guy out of here and then move around to C. What? 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 <laughs> I feel like I'm doing as best as I can here. I don't know if you guys agree. So anyway, um, yeah, the question that I need to answer today is how I would like to die or what I forms of death I am scared of. I'm assuming this guy's going to come around here. Come on, come on, come on. Nice. Fuck's sake. Just try and hold that B now and hopefully we'll get it. God damn, I can't even win a fucking gunfight today. So, right, how I want to die. Or what am I scared of? Alright. I'm not really scared of much. Like, especially in the uh, terms of death. Like, I. Like, I, f I find pain a more uh, frightening concept rather than death. So, like, if I knew I was going to be in a, an incident or something that would result in death, um, it wouldn't scare me as much as an incident that might result in uh, a lot of pain. For instance, say I was going to be in uh, some sort of car crash or something. Ah, oh, wait, sorry, my, my tension level's just gone up because I'm capping this flag solo. You bitch! <laughs> ah, fuck's sake. Beard, beard, action, beard, got me. Shout out if you know that reference. Fucking awesome. Not many of you out there will. Kill confirmed. Ah, oh, God's sake, I did not see that guy. Sorry, I've done a shit job trying to answer this question. What I might do, I might play another one, because this was only like three minutes long. So I'll, I'll try and get a quick little TDM or something in there. Huh, oops. <sighs> yeah, that sucked. Um, sorry, yeah, I will uh, do just one more quick little game now. I'll answer the question a bit more thoroughly. Because that was a shit job. Let me turn that down a little bit. Okay, right. Um, <clears throat> we're going to go into the little stats screen, so I'm just going to skip this, and then I'll meet you on the flip side on the next side. And I'm back. Right, sorry. I was a bit sort of shit then, weren't I? I guess I'm not used to doing the um, RTC again. It's been a while since I've done it, so... Yeah, just give me a sec to get back into the role, and then I'll be back. So, the question was... How, uh, what am I scared of dying? How do I want to die? Um, 
Yeah, like I was saying before, like I'm not really um I'm not as scared of dying more than like a position of being in like intense pain or like say um like something that would alter my life afterwards. So for instance, say like if I was paralyzed for like the neck down or whatever, that scares me more than the concept of death. Like I'm I'm quite a sort of reckless person really, especially when it comes to that sort of thing. And um yeah, I uh, <laughs> like I I don't mind doing like adventurous and sort of dangerous stuff a lot of the time because you know usually it's quite fun. I'm sorry, I'm just <laughs> almost yeah. So yeah, the concept of being in a sort of a long-term piece of pain like that is a lot more frightening to me. Oh yeah, you saw me. You saw me. You saw me. You know. You know the deal. I can't see shit. <laughs> so yeah, um, like I like, I, like I wouldn't mind the uh, dying young. Like I know that sounds a bit weird, but uh, if there was like, I was part of something or I had some decent reason to die young, I wouldn't mind that too much. Like, do you know what I mean? Well, maybe you don't, because that's kind of a fucking far out concept. But yeah, you know, yeah, like it doesn't really bother me too much the concept of um death you know on the flip side i would actually like to um live too old because you know especially like i really into sort of like current events and sort of uh news and that sort of shit and like just the progression of the world just seeing how the whole world's progressing and that sort of stuff like um especially like in terms of technology technology is fucking amazing especially if you um keep up to date with it and you like look at sort of um news broadcasts and stuff you can really like there is oh I do like myself a scorpion. It's always fucking interesting the stuff that's going down. And um, yeah, so I would like to live like as old as possible, just so I could keep up to date with that sort of stuff and just see what advancements were made like in my lifetime. Because yeah, that would be fucking sweet, I think. Um, but yeah, there there are some uh, things uh, pain-wise that, that or death-wise that do frighten me. Um, I've always had um, one of I don't have many fears. I should preface this with, but one of my main ones is uh, the fear. Um, it's sort. Of, <laughs> I was gonna say it's an irrational fear, but it's really not. I have a fear of um, having my throat slit, and. Um, the reason being, it's sort of a, a bit of a disturbing story, so I'm sorry if you don't uh, like this, but um, well, I'm, he I'm here to tell you stories from my life and stuff, I guess. This is what it's all about. And um, yeah, I when I was young, I had, um, a, I'd say, a friend, an acquaintance. I wouldn't class him as a friend, but he had a really sort of um, sick sense of humour, and when I was quite young, he showed me one of these sort of... Um, Taliban execution videos and fuck it I just had to touch my neck just now then because I really can't handle that um but yeah one of the Taliban executions and the one in particular was a really infamous one where the 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 person being executed they don't use the proper knife and um this this the noises coming out of this guy as he's ah oh, sorry I'm having a bit of a moment now just thinking about it but um yeah, just the noises coming out of this guy. It was like a, one of the most horrific things I'd ever seen. Because I was quite young as well, it just affected me a bit more. And um, he says as he brutally murders the guy. Um, so yeah, I just, I just really didn't like it at all. And every like f watching throats being slit and that, even in like TV and stuff, it's just the sort of the whole concept of just being entirely helpless and that sort of thing. I think that's what it is ma mainly. Uh, sorry, I'm having a little bit of a um, therapeutic session here on myself. <laughs> but yeah, um, the whole sort of helplessness and that sort of... It's just... It's horrible. So, and I really didn't like it at all. God, there's only two people on the enemy team. Securing A. Um, so yeah, I didn't like that at all. So if... Um, in terms of dying... Being throat slit is my number one 
way of I don't want to go because um, yeah, just the helplessness, the just the fear that would be going through me would be unbelievable. Um, yeah, one more round and I'll call this. Um, anything else that scares me? Nothing really. I always find fear is um, relative. Like, like, I'm not scared of anything right now. I'm sat in my room playing video games. I'm not scared of anything. Like, sharks, not scared of sharks. If I was in the middle of the ocean and I was surrounded by them, I'd probably have a fucking different opinion on the matter. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. people say like they, they're they scared of stuff and whatever. It's like, well, are you really? I don't know. I guess it's an alien concept to me. Loads of things are alien concepts to me. I have like the most logical, lateral mind ever. And one person on the enemy team and he's running. Oh, you stood still, mate. You stood still. Ow! <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure you were up that ladder, so that was my own fault. Um, so yeah, I, the concept of fear just baffles me, uh, especially like long term fears. I guess I'm so laid back as well, like I just don't notice stuff like that. It's like, oh, there's a shark over there. Oh, that's cool. Maybe I'm laid back, or maybe... Sorry, I'm having a little bit of a moment. I'm thinking myself silly. To be honest, i got the fucking time to do it. This match is fucking slow as balls. I might as well grab B. Get it over with quicker. Securing right, buddy. Um, yeah, so, the, yeah, the concept just... Fuck off. Um, I'm forgiven. So yeah, the concept just um, baffles me. I've completely lost trail of thought. Um, what was I thinking? What was I just saying? Fuck! Shooting that guy in the face has caused me to have a brain hemorrhage. Um... <clears throat> oh yeah, I know what I was saying. Uh, am I... I'm pretty sure I just threw an EMP grenade. It just went nowhere. <laughs> I see you up there. I see you, baby. Did you get that guy? Yeah, you did. Where are you going to spawn? You'll probably spawn up there. I don't know the spawn system of this game very well, and I've realised I've distracted myself. Shall I try and get back onto the point? Uh, yeah, am I laid back? or No, I just don't think I give a fuck. Um, like, I'm too logical in my own brain. Like, alright, let's throw this grenade over here. I want to see where it comes down. Yes, that's what's supposed to happen. It just fucking vanished. The time vortex up there. At the Battle of Waterloo in 1080, 1066, whenever. Or well, actually, that might have been Battle of Hastings. But old fucking George Washington, my history is a fucking beast, isn't it? Was uh, going to be riding on a horse and a tank. And in the middle of it all, an EMP grenade just going to come down. Man, that joke fucking failed on its ass. I'm glad this game's over because I've been rambling. Nonsense. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Oh my god! <laughs> well, that was a really boring game and I'm sorry for it, but hopefully my commentary um, made it do as much as possible. As much as it could. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I've had quite a bit of fun this game. Please leave questions below and I will get to them as soon as possible. Um, yeah, aside from that, I'm all done. So, catch you later. I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.